a girl you knew in town. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be an Amazon fashion favorites video. I have been finding so many good pieces on Amazon lately and I am so excited to share them with you guys. So without further ado, let's just hop right into this video. All right, so the first thing that I'm gonna be starting off with is actually the bodysuit that I'm wearing right now. It is a gorgeous scoop neck, buttery soft, long sleeve, two buttoned thong bottom bodysuit. If you guys love skims, you are going to love this. I actually picked up another one in a slightly different style. This is more of a high neck bodysuit. It comes up to about here and then I also have a turtleneck version in black. I honestly just cannot get enough of these bodysuits. They are so flattering, so comfortable. They keep you warm but they are still breathable. They are honestly just the perfect staple to have in your wardrobe and a great piece for layering and the color selection that they have is just gorgeous. It's a whole bunch of neutrals as well as a good variety of styles. Yeah, these bodysuits highly recommend. Sticking with brown at the moment, we've got this flannel. This is just a gorgeous brown flannel. Like there's nothing much else to say about it. It does come a little oversized. This is a size small and it fits me like a medium would. The reason why I love this flannel so much is because it is a beautiful darker shade of brown. I already have more of a cream tan flannel. I have more of a orangish brown flannel that's really beautiful for fall. But this is a great chocolate brown color. And I also love how the lines that are mixing in with it are more cream and not just a stark white. And I also love how the buttons have a little bit of tortoise shell going on instead of just one solid color of cream or brown I think it looks a little more expensive also something that's really important for me to note is that this is not itchy whatsoever if you are an avid flannel wearer you will know that some flannels have this really subtle itchiness to them I mean some are actually like really itchy but this doesn't have any of that so love. All right, so next up I have a couple of corset tops. When I first saw this on Amazon, I was so excited. It was a brand new item, had zero reviews, but it looks exactly like a corset top that you can find on White Fox. Reasons why I love this corset top. First of all, this little dip down here, I'll just show you guys in the try-on clip, but this dip down here in the front is super flattering. Also on the inside of the front, they have that little rubber band so it prevents it from slipping down, which I know we all can love and appreciate and then of course the color is just a beautiful shade of taupe as you guys know I do love my nudes but I do think that the nude clothing market is a little oversaturated with all the grays and more cream nudes and I would love to see more of this taupe shade I mean you can definitely find it out there but I don't have too much of it and I don't see it as often as the other colors so I'm really glad to have this one then we've got another corset top this one is more so in that creamy beigey nude this is just a gorgeous corset top it has that dip down there in the front just like the other one accentuates the waist just super flattering it also has these peaks here at the top which also just I don't know it somehow like enhances the cleavage area you know kind of like a scoop neck does I did read in some reviews that people were saying they found the points uncomfortable I personally have not found that to be the case they're also not super rigid like you can bend them I think in terms of comfort it might also depend on how much you've got going on right here this looks great on anyone no matter your chest size but I do think that these points might be a little more uncomfortable if you have a smaller chest because they are closer to your skin I don't know if that's making sense how I'm explaining it but basically if you have a larger chest they kind of just stick up and off kind of like this but if you have a smaller chest they'll be closer and will probably be pushing into your sternum area more I hope that makes sense and then just like the other corset top we have that little rubber strip right there on the inside and then of course one of its most gorgeous features is this mesh that kind of gives a cowl neck vibe to the whole top just a stunning piece I have it in multiple colors you guys will actually have seen this one in my Valentine's Day outfit ideas video I'll insert a clip of that right here too and this clip actually leads me to my next item which are these leather pants these are actually my first pair of straight legged yes straight legged 
I thought they might have been flare. These are my first pair of leather straight legged pants. I don't know why I had never thought of it before, but I didn't think I needed a pair of leather pants other than just skinny leather pants. I usually just wear leather leggings in the fall and winter with a sweater and boots. So the skinny leggings obviously work better for that. But in terms of going out for an evening, maybe in the spring or summer, and you want to wear leather pants, I think that these are way more comfortable. You'll find me rocking both, but if you want to be a little more modern with the leather pants, I would say that these are a great option. They run extremely true to size. I'm a medium, these are medium, and they fit like a freaking glove. They also have some belt loops here in case you wanna wear a belt with them. They have two functional back pockets as well as two functional front pockets and that little tiny pocket. So yeah, all around a great pair of faux leather pants that I highly recommend. All right, this one's a little funky. Next up <laughs> is this crisscross halter top. I'm just gonna show you guys the try on clip. So as you guys can see, this top is just stunning. It's gorgeous. The perfect top for vacations, nights out, formal occasions where you wanna look a little extra but not too revealing. This is a very basic top so I don't really have too much to say about it except that I love it. Two things that I did want to mention is that the material, it is comfortable for me at least, but some might describe it as a bit more of a swimsuit material. It says that it is 91% polyester and 9% elastane, so if that tells you anything, um, there you go. I do believe that with this material and this style that it looks better when you size down. I did try out a size medium and if I'm remembering correctly it was standing up a little bit under the arms and it was just a little loose around the body. If you want a really nice form-fitting fit I would say size down one. Other than that nothing to say. Love it. Go check it out. These are just a great essential to have. Okay and then the last top that I have to show you guys is this really cute knit top. It has a little crisscross moment there in the front. It is ribbed. It has extra stretch here in the back. As you guys can see up here, you can really pull it out. Also not too much to say about this top. I mean, the color is gorgeous. I love the little front detail. I think it is honestly just a great vacation top. Also, obviously a great option for spring and summer in general. I mean, you can wear this with skirts, shorts, jeans. I would recommend sticking to your normal size in this. Also, also something else that I would like to point out for the bigger chested ladies is that this actually fits them. The reason why I'm using air quotes is because there's no underwire, there's nothing that your chest would have to actually fit into, but the space that they have, I guess, allocated for your chest fits perfectly. So I don't look like I'm hanging below it in any way and that's honestly a look that bothers me so much and I find it really difficult to find tops and bodysuits that do have an outlined chest area to actually fit and this one does so that is another reason why I love it so much. Alright so next up we have a dress and this is honestly just one of the most gorgeous dresses I have seen in a minute. I mean... Can we just have a moment to appreciate her? I will obviously show you guys a try on clip. This will look much better there. But this dress, you guys, this dress. I think there's something in me, like a childhood part of me, that loves it a little extra because it reminds me of the green dress that Rachel Green in Friends wore to Monica and Chandler's wedding. I'll insert some pictures right here. This obviously is not that dress, but something about it just reminds me so much of that dress and the way she wore it, oh my god, like it just ingrained itself in my brain. There are certain moments in TV and movie history from when I was growing up that just like burned themselves into my mind as like like, wow, you, you did that. Just her hair, her skin tone, the dress, it just is so beautiful all together. And look, no shade to Phoebe. I know she was wearing the same dress because it was a bridesmaid's dress, but something about it on Rachel, I think it has to have been like her olive skin tone and her hair color, just something about it worked so well together. I mean, Phoebe has her moments too. When she walked out in this dress, that was another moment that was burned into my brain of just Wow, like n like no one could do that. Like you did that. And you know what? While we're on the topic, let's not leave Monica out. I think one of the moments for Monica, I'm specifically gonna be sticking to dresses here because there are lots of moments for all these women, but one of the moments for Monica that burned itself into my brain was when she walked out in this dress. And I was like, <laughs> the color, the fit, the simplicity, little me was floored. But anyway, I digress. 
the Rachel dress. This dress caught my eye because I was looking for the perfect dress to wear to a wedding. The material of this dress, it has a gorgeous sheen to it without being too shiny. It really just elevates the look of the dress a little bit and makes it perfect for an occasion like a wedding. The length of it as well, also perfect for a wedding because you don't want to wear a dress that's too short. Something else that I love about it is the invisible zipper in the back just makes it look more expensive. These straps are adjustable. The pattern of it obviously perfect for a wedding. Gorgeous as well. I'm not usually one to be drawn towards floral patterns but this one works. It just works for me. I actually own this dress in two different colors. The green one and the cream and pinkish one. I'll insert a clip of that here. Can we just talk about the fit for a moment? The fit of these dresses is so good. My only complaint though and it's it's kind of a big one is that the sizing from this shop is inconsistent. I got really lucky with this one. It fit perfectly right off the bat. I ordered a size medium, so to me it was true to size. When I ordered the medium in the green dress, it was just a little too loose in the back. It didn't hug me quite like this one did. So then I ordered a size small and it was too tight. I'm not surprised by that because it is a size small when I'm a medium. It wasn't too tight to zip up. It did fit me, but it felt like it was just hugging my stomach a little too much. And with something like satin that doesn't have stretch to it, you don't want be wearing something that already feels tight when you're standing up because imagine when you sit down so then i ordered five of them like i just ordered five in bulk and when they arrived one of them fit exactly how the cream and pink one does so i kept that one returned the others to me that's a big issue you shouldn't have to order a bunch of the same item just to get the one that fits perfectly but i will say when it does fit perfectly hands down one of the best dresses that I have. The only other potential con with this dress is the slit. What it is is that it's not a slit, it's a wrap. So the dress is kind of wrapped onto itself. So the only potential con is that if you sit down in this dress, you may risk it kind of showing a little too much. I would really recommend it if you love the style of it and you would be okay with potentially having to order more than one to get the right perfect fit. If that's too much of a hassle for you and you don't want to deal with having to potentially pin a slit, then don't get it. I would not recommend it because it isn't exactly hassle-free, but for me it was worth it and I just love the look of it and I needed some dresses for some upcoming events. All right, so next up is an item that I'm really excited about, um, kind of for a silly reason. So YSL came out with a baseball hat a while ago and I love the look of it. I'll insert some photos of it being worn here by Mia. She is a fashion blogger, influencer on Instagram. I absolutely love her content. Content. But yeah, so it has this sporty look. I love how the SL is outlined in white. I just love it. Okay, so anyway, I ended up buying that hat. It's a crazy amount. I think it's like 500 something dollars. I just had to see it on me. I just had to get that out of my system. And so here's the thing. So it arrived and what I didn't realize is that the hat is tweed and the fit of it on me was so incredibly weird. It was flat on top and kind of bulky on the sides and it was just so underwhelming. So anyway, I returned it because I wasn't keeping it anyway. Even if I loved it, the price is just too much. Months later, I ended up finding a Dodgers hat on Amazon that looks so similar, except it obviously says LA rather than SL. This hat gave me the exact same vibe as the Saint Laurent hat did, but a much better fit, way better material in my opinion, and a way cheaper price tag. I am definitely someone who does love my luxury goods, but I am not one to just wear it because it's luxury. So to me, it wasn't the fact that it was Saint Laurent and it said SL, it was just the look of the hat. And so I am so, so happy that I found this one because this is just the exact vibe that I was going for. And for anyone who says, take off your sticker, I literally just got this. So don't worry. I will. It's coming off. But yeah. Immediately. It just made it into my favorites video without even having to like wear it out. This is just a favorite. I also found it with a solid crown. I don't know what that's called. Fitted crown. The type of hats that aren't floppy and loose like this. Actually, my next one has that. So I'll just move on to the next one. So this one, I've been looking for a neutral nude cream toned hat for a while. I have found many shades of neutral. They have more of a greenish tint to them or they're a little too beige, not beige, like tan, like a little too dark. 
work. This, I'm so happy with it. This is like the exact color that I wanted. I think it looks so good with my outfits. So like I was saying, this is a floppy type of hat and then this has that fitted crown. I normally prefer fitted crowns. I think they just look cleaner, but I do enjoy floppy ones for more casual outfits. I think for me, I just have like these really weird like set rules for myself. Not like rules. I have like my casual hats and my fancier hats. Anyway, so um, comparing these two actually, so this one one has the buckle back and then this one is a snap back sticking with hats at the moment I found a hat that really speaks to my soul if you know anything about me I love country music I am a country gal at heart my ancestors grew up in the south they 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 were southern if I can find it I'll insert a photo of them in front of their shack you don't have to love country music or the south to love this but I found the most gorgeous cowgirl hat what I love about it is that I mean, first of all, it's good quality. It feels really sturdy. It's, you know, it's bendy, but it'll it'll snap back to its shape. So what I love about it is that it has this contrast to it. I love how it's not just a harsh line. It has like a little bit of an ombre effect there. Also, these beads right here are so pretty. It's got a little tie in the back with some more beads. And this seller has a bunch of different options. There are multiple that I love. There's this black one that has like these horns on it. I think there's one similar to this that has turquoise on the top here. Just so many great options. I just thought this would be a great neutral one that would just go with everything so I got this one it has a headband I don't know if that's what you call it but one of those bands on the inside that makes it comfy it also comes with a like one of those chin tie things <laughs> that hangs down you can like tighten it under your chin I don't know where that is at the moment but it comes with that and it has two little hooks here for it the fit I mean, holla at you, cowboy. This was just made for me. It was just made for me, you know? And the next time I go to Nashville or listen to country music in my car, you'll find me rocking this. <laughs> so anyway, really love this hat. Really recommend it if you're into hats like this. And then uh, next up, sticking to my southern theme <laughs> for one more item, I have got this cropped denim jacket. I know you're probably thinking, Annika, what is so southern about this? Well, let me tell you. As you guys can see, this is just a super fun fringe jacket. The one thing I will say is that it is extremely cropped. It may not look extremely cropped. It is, I think on me, it comes to like right here. I have tried a couple others out and the quality just wasn't there. Like the denim didn't feel like denim. This is actual denim. It is good quality, not some thin kind of stretchy type denim. The fit is great. I would say it's true to size. I did get a medium. You guys Guys can see how it fits on me if you want it tighter you can obviously size down if you want it looser size up not much else to say about this I just I think it's a really fun jacket um, definitely gonna wear it in the south again when I go to the Carolinas or Nashville or any of that um, it'll look great with the hat would be great for a warm day out a night on the town a photo shoot literally anything I also love how the fringe is a little shiny I hope you guys can get a good look at that but yeah I don't know, it's not sparkly fringe. I know that a lot of these jackets do have the rhinestone fringe, and I love that. I really do. It's just knowing how rhinestones age. They can fall out. They can start to rust around the metal. They can snag on a lot of things, so that's why I love this one so much. And so far, no matter what I do to it, it doesn't tangle. Like, it just... Here. I mean, maybe like one or two, but it comes right out. Like, this is just perfect it's perfect so yeah if you guys are into this kind of stuff I really recommend this one okay so next up is a bag when I tell you that this is my most reached for bag I, I have a collection I have a collection of high-end some low-end and then Amazon <laughs> this is my most reached for bag I got this because I have hold on I have the Louis Vuitton Alma BB and I wanted this one in black and I know that Louis Vuitton makes them in black but the only patterns that I found I believe was one that looked kind of like this where it was just kind of like plain canvas of some sort actually no I take that back it's not plain canvas it's got like lines running through it I'll insert a photo and then the other one that I found I believe was all black 
with the monogram printed into it so I went on Amazon you guys I've been wearing this like pretty much every day <laughs> like if I'm ever running an errand and I don't care about my outfit like I'm just wearing leggings a sweatshirt sneakers or flip-flops or whatever this is the bag I reach for also because I don't mind banging it against things like with my nicer bags I've definitely banged this one on a couple of walls and that paint is just sticking to it I'm sure it comes out I believe I've gotten one out before but my point is I don't baby my bags but I also don't want them to just get completely ruined so that's where this one comes in <laughs> it's the perfect bag to just quite literally throw across the room and just not care about it and still somehow it looks so good like this bag has been through it it has traveled it's been squished like quite literally compressed fully and bent in a suitcase that was not my choice and look at it I mean it's it's so good like well, I guess there is some squishing to it, but it's so good. To show you guys the features, so the inside of the bag is just one big open space. It has a zippered pocket here. It has some card pockets here. It comes with a strap. You hook the strap on to these two things, just like you would with the Alma BB. It's essentially... A Louis Vuitton bag. The only difference, I guess, I would say is that the Louis Vuitton comes with a lock. The black one does not. Also, the Louis Vuitton one only has one little pocket on the inside and nothing else. So this one actually has more options for you. Also, speaking of options, this comes in a variety of colors. So you can really just get one for each outfit if you want to. And because I'm sure someone will be asking on the front little plate, that's what it says. I think it says... Love Vook, L-O-V-E-V-O-O-K. I'm not 100% sure. I know that sometimes when you buy products on sites like Amazon, it'll have some like random, like weird, honestly, brand name. And I don't usually like how legible it is, but this one is so small, you can't even tell. And if you really just don't even like this thing, just wear your bag like this. So yeah, completely in love with this bag. Would recommend over and over and over again. Okay, then last but not least, these heels. So, a little backstory here. I love heels. I used to wear heels all the time. Back in college, I didn't even have a bike. I would walk to all my classes and I would wear high-heeled boots. And I mean the thin heels, the ones that hurt, <laughs> not the chunky ones. However, as I've gotten older, I have been valuing comfort more, as I'm sure most of you have been experiencing as well. But obviously, I still want to look nice. So anyway, my whole point is that super high heels I just can't do anymore. Unless they're for photo shoots or a quick walk from a car to a table and then you're sitting all night. Other than that, I need comfortable heels. So that's where these come in. These heels are made by a brand called Dream Pairs and um, they ain't lying. These are honestly a dream pair of heels. In my opinion, these are extremely comfortable. I could walk in these for a while. I am a size 9 and these are a size 9 so they are completely true to size. If anything, they might be just a tad loose. But I prefer that because I'd rather have them be a tiny bit loose and put in one of those comfortable cushioned inserts rather than have them be too tight and like squeezing my toes up front. Speaking of padding, they have padding along here so that makes it comfy. They have padding up here and then of course the most obvious point of comfort is the heel height. As a girl who was used to heels like this, <laughs> this is a dream come true. I will always love Louboutin. I will always think it just looks the best. The back is just iconic. I mean the red, the absolute stiletto of a heel, the side profile, the toe cleavage, everything you get with these is just amazing looking. But if you've ever worn shoes like this, you know that, how do you say this nicely? It makes stepping on an urchin and falling into a cactus seem like a great afternoon. I still think that as short as this heel is, in my opinion, I know for some people this is not short, I think with the short height of the heel, it still looks gorgeous. So if you guys are looking for some comfortable heels to wear and be able to walk in for more than a couple minutes, I would really recommend checking out these heels. I was gonna say that was it, but then I just remembered that the shorts I'm wearing, I wanted to include in this video, but I don't wanna take them off. So I'm just gonna insert a try on clip. So these shorts, <laughs> I have a very specific preference for how my shorts are distressed. 
I love shorts with no distressing as well, but for my distressed shorts, I like them to be distressed on both sides in the front, in the middle, creating a little bit of a rounded or triangle effect. I think it is most flattering on the leg. It can have some distressing above it as well. I am also a bit picky when it comes to denim shades of blue. I love a light wash. I love an acid wash. These shorts met that. And then also, oh my god, the fit. I'm sure you guys can tell that these shorts are a little bit loose because I am tired of wearing shorts and eating in them and bloating and having my skin. <laughs> what's it called my fat my pudge my little rolls hang over the shorts because they're too tight I have enough pairs of those I was specifically looking for a pair that would be a little looser on the waist but that obviously still fit in a very flattering way and these ones do and I'm so happy about it also I think that these are the perfect shorts to wear if you're going to the pool or the beach, or a river, a lake, whatever. I think they're a great pair to throw on over a bikini. You can just throw them on as a bit of a cover-up, leave them unbuttoned, um, or you could button them up and the waist is not too tight. It'll still give you a little room to wiggle. That is also obviously very flattering if you're in a bikini to have a bit of a looser waist because it just accentuates yours. And that's the case pretty much no matter what size you are. If your pants look a little looser on you, you look a little more tight. So yeah, love these shorts. Would definitely recommend only thing i would say is that what size are these i forgot what size these are but i will have them down below i did try a pair that were i think one size smaller at first and i did notice that on the inside of where the button is there was something that was kind of poking out like from the seam and it was making me itchy i don't know if it's just a fault of these jeans or if it was just that one but i thought i would mention it just in case other than that these are perfect and that brings us to the end of this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. These are all pieces that I am just in love with. Everything will be linked down below in the description box. And with that, I hope you guys have a wonderful day or night wherever you are. And I hope to see you in the next video.